हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरीवन टू दिस सिंपल चेस विथ सिंपल कैन इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी एक्साइटिंग सेशन वेर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चेस बेसिक्स दैट्स व्हाट आई फील आई एम गोइंग टू टीच बट our guest for today may surprise me if he is working secretly on chess on his own let's ask him hello kenny how are you i'm great tiger thank you uh, i sorry to disappoint i i i was just occasionally playing uh, chess uh, from the last tournament uh, but at least i'm not playing chess for the first time like i know the basics and i've done some games uh, ironically like uh, when i was being trained under somia uh we did a lot of puzzles right everyone's like do puzzles first you know before you play and all mm, mm. so now i realized i like puzzles more than chess <laughs> just solving you don't want yeah. to win or lose you know no no that mental I, uh, exercise is what you like i like the oh this is a very tough situation find the best move mm. but getting to that situation is the tough part <laughs> yeah correct yeah. so i yeah. think it's always very helpful to solve and i think uh, saumya uh, wonderful trainer so she has set some very good uh, basics for you so we're going to build up on that a little bit today uh, and we are going to learn first a few rules to play and then we'll get yeah. straight into action to play okay yes and guys uh, today kenny uh, has taken his second shot yeah so <laughs> yes in case if he blunders or something then you know you know kenny there was this uh, world class player anish giri who is very good friend and he who comes on streams and so he took a vaccine uh, and after that he just lost like four games in a row against rtmf and oh, no. uh, yeah so the thing is that you know it it Does affect chess, yeah. Good thing I took it now before the tournament. So ah, you have I, you have couple of days. How how excited are you for COB five? To be honest, like I, when you when you introducing me, I wish I was in that position. So what happened was when I started doing chess with the last tournament, my girlfriend started playing with me, hmm. and uh, after the tournament got over, she just and she was playing. She was good at chess. I think she was pretty good. Ah, uh, not like me who just started. but she just relentlessly played 3 to 4 matches every day acha okay hmm. so now she's at such an amazing level ah. so i was like oh my god i could have been at that if i had a perseverance um so uh, so, so your really aim is guess. to kind of uh, be, give her a tough be, fight yeah be even be a, be a worthy opponent to her because i recently did a match with her and i just stopped and i said can you please explain why you're doing this boost cuz this is beyond me trying to beat you guys one other saturday do ah okay yeah. okay cool wonderful so that's good motivation and uh, so how about uh, first okay before you go to the game i prepared something let's uh, oh. go through that uh, okay. by the way a super chat from soumya ranjan mishra who says please tell kenny he's super cute thank you thank you for the super chat uh, super cute comment okay So uh by the way do you like the thumbnail? I really like it. I think it's very well done. I was like damn this like the the I feel the thumbnail look way more exciting than what is going to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh so this one is what I want to share with you. Three yeah. simple rules to play amazing chess, okay? So ye three rules you keep in mind while you're playing. You know them, but the fact that before making a move if you keep these three in mind it will be very useful rule number 1 before making a move let's come here so that you can do see if you can capture an opponent's hanging piece theek hai uska yes. kuch mar raha hai to marna hai theek hai done so that's set so rule number 2 is any of my piece hanging or undefended Oh, so then protect that. Ha. Huh. So the thing is, ऐसा like when you're thinking, so question, उसका क्या मर रहा है? ठीक है, देख लिया. मेरा क्या मर रहा है? उससे. मतलब वो क्या मारने वाला है मेरा? ठीक है. Then you have to weigh both. What is better, you know, taking his or saving your own? Sometimes saving your own, like let's say he attacks your queen, you are attacking his knight. Yeah. So obviously, we should protect our queen. You should protect the queen. Should protect the queen. Right. Yeah. and third one which is slightly complicated and one which i think oh. can really help you is that before making the move that you want to make on the board like before you going to move make it in your head and ask if the move that you are going to be making 
कैन बी कैप्चर्ड ऑन द स्क्वेर यू आर अबाउट टू मूव मतलब अगर समझो यू वॉन्ट टू मूव अ नाइट समवेयर एंड फर्स्ट डोंट मूव इट फर्स्ट मूव इट इन योर हेड एंड इमेजिन दैट द पीस इज देयर And no, then, no, basically, am I just going into a death trap? Just be aware. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, this three things, and then we come to some opening principles, which you have to. I think you might be aware of them, because these are some things you have to consider. So, first thing is control the center with pawns and pieces. Second is develop your pieces. Okay, I mean, piece ko bahar nikalna. Don't make waste moves yeah third is don't move the same piece twice in the opening if not required okay fourth is do not develop your queen too soon yeah i hate it when i play on chess.com who gets the queen and i'm like can you relax <laughs> <laughs> so I today, today, that, today yeah. if someone brings their queen out soon no you should be very happy because okay. it's like imagine no like uh, i i always imagine chess as like on a battle ground there are two armies on either side imagine that before the situation has clarified the biggest actor like the main hero comes charging simply right. arrows will come at him and he'll die so the yeah. same thing is when the queen moves out too soon pawns knights bishops will start attacking it and it can do nothing you know it has to run backwards understand uh fifth is minor pieces first then major pieces so knights and bishops first then queens rooks and so on i mean first rook then queen yeah and the last one is castle your king to safety yeah so castling i i hope you are very well aware yeah. of the castling rule okay yes and sometimes i will ca- castle uh, while losing a piece <laughs> i'm that <laughs> obsessed with castling <laughs> yeah yeah today you are not going to do that so the main yeah. thing today is that all your wo jo in wo fancies rehte hai na initially ki ha castle mein kitna maza aa raha hai wagera wo that all are done now so okay last one is value check so value check is very simple when you are going to exchange any piece make sure you do a value check value check is nothing but what you are whether you are giving up is more or less than what you are taking Ideally, what you are going to capture should be more in value than what you are giving up. So, if let's say up, up na queen say uska knight ko attack karega, you should not take his knight mm-hmm. with the queen if he can recapture, because Understood. you will lose nine points. He will only lose three. Understood. Okay, so these are a few rules. Yeah, I don't know if this was complicated, easy. No, no. Yeah, I'm aware of these rules. I mean, implementing them is the main Correct. thing. But I'm aware of these. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this rule number one, two, and three. These three, yeah. if you can make con, uh, uh, you know, conscious effort while playing, would be great. Yeah. Okay. Should we get the going? The thing is, I'll hmm. do these, and then suddenly I get excited, and I forget my defensive, and then just go and make a lot of mistakes. So I'm like, really think. You know, the thing is, all these uh, things really help. when the game is drawn out when the 10 minutes happen that's when yes i uh, yes that's a stressful uh, that's yeah. when uh, chess starts becoming a sport right uh, rather yeah. than just a mental exercise because the time is the element and the competitiveness which brings the fun to it so yeah. uh, le- i mean you give your best and don't worry yeah. about the result ki ha i'll lose or i'll make fun of myself aisa kuch socho mat just enjoy theek hai so let's begin uh you can challenge yes. someone da. over there for a game of 10 minutes and okay. i'll follow you uh kenny sebastian uh with an with an a right uh k e n n y s e b a s t i a n ah, no space correct you can see my picture also hmm so have you have you started no i'm sorry should i start yes please do 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 do. Okay, I got white. Okay, guys. So obviously, my first move is the mm-hmm. favorite move, <laughs> and then I protect my pawn. That's what I usually do. Uh huh. Okay, I might as well uh, get my. Kenny, uh, you can talk. Okay. Yeah. I will uh, mute myself on Zoom. 
so i can sure. talk about your moves you can talk sure. whatever you like uh, you can sure. in between say oh this is a problem so i can get to know what you are thinking theek hai understand so i'll tell you why i'm doing that ha yeah. chaliya um guys welcome everyone i hope you are all it's doing fine we have disconnected hopefully we will come back we got a connection issue come on no how is it disconnected it's your move ha ah, no, neither so uh, oh yes today neeraj uh, one gold medal mm, i think we have disconnected sir Ah, he is disconnected. An, yeah, this will be an easy win. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to start. Yeah. Um. Let me just. Okay, it's gonna ten seconds more, and we can disconnect. Acha. If he doesn't come back in ten seconds, then you have won already. Yeah. Do 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 do. Wow. Yeah, I got thirty-one points. Yay! You won. You won. No, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You know this <laughs> okay, is how. you made up uh, you applied the rules very quickly like center control develop the piece <laughs> yeah like uh, this at this point if nothing unpredictable happens i'm good then suddenly when queen comes out the uh, um, bishop comes out i'm like okay it's going yeah, yeah but you know can he often like if your opponent does something weird you can take advantage yeah. of it like you can be like i can beat him so be confident yeah. Okay, let's go. Second game has begun. Okay. E four, E five. Oh, knight C three has been played.
He didn't take. He so didn't I take. would ideally like to protect bar, my bar came up bishop. And like okay. What's he gonna do? He'll take the pawn, but my king is there. Uh, he can take this. My bishop is there. So I'm just gonna put my queen here. Let's see what happens. Oh, I just realized we're putting my pawn up. I've compromised my left side also. Okay, now what is this guy after? He's just protecting he wants his. To screen. take this. I'm so gonna can just. You, can you just defend it? I want to get my bishop out. No, no, no. My no. d2 look pawn this, is stuck. Look at this. So I'm gonna Rule put. Rule number my... two. I'm good, right? Rule number two. Let's do this. Oh. This is guys. This is the rule number two. Is any of <laughs> my piece hanging? Uh, is anything hanging? Uh, oh, this is what he's done. Shit. Okay, okay. Now his bishop is protecting his. So move my king, which I have to. Hmm. What will he do? Guys, one pawn, of the yeah. uh, best things about uh, all these mm. people like are, me, yeah. is that they are very, very successful at what they do, but yet they always find time, uh, you know, when they yeah, are no. learning chess, they want to oh, okay. give their all, which is very inspiring, you know. Oh, but now it's mate. It's mate. And mate. I think this is a good position. I'm not terrible. Oh, come on. Forgot about my rook. No, this uh, vaccine, yeah. Any. This game is uh, crumbling down. Um, shit, I lost my book. Only way, yeah, and then mate. Again, I have to move my king. Oh, this is a disaster. I'm gonna lose the bishop. Mm. This is what I said, Saga. When the queen comes out, I get a little rattled. Yeah. Yes. A disappointing game. Uh, hello, Kenny. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, how was it? Uh, yeah, I made many blunders. So, uh, I. At, after one point, everything just fell. All my defenses fell. I think after the rook going down, it just was a uh, Zeppelin disaster. Yeah. Okay, so shall we look at the game and learn a few things? Yes, please. Okay, so you went e4, which is a good move. Here, hmm. you go knight c3, which is not bad. But you can also start with knight f3, attacking this pawn here. Okay. Okay. So that, but okay, knight c3 is good because it develops a piece and controls the center. He went knight f6, you went knight f3, very good move, d6. And now, your next move, you decided to move your bishop out, right? Okay. You put your bishop here. Yeah. Uh, why did you put it there? Um, I was going to put it at um, e2, but then I was like, um... I might as well uh, control the center by putting it at, at d3. Right. But what do bishops need are free diagonals. So when you put it on d3, uh, it's actually okay, hitting one. your pawn. Now, it's not okay. it's not terrible move because as you said, it controls the center. But there is a much better move than this. Um, should I have put my um, pawn at d3? Yes, but uh, that is also a decent move. It opens this bishop up. It also controls the center. But then this bishop is crying. You know, right. it is like, I had to go out of the way. This pawn has stopped me. Oh, I have to go e4. That's too aggressive, no? D4. Oh, this is no. a nice move. No, no, I meant e4, sorry. But e4 is already played. Sorry, sorry. I mean c4. Here? Yeah, no, my bishop to c4. Ah, yes. This is a good move. So, gotcha. uh, one thing, Kenny, you have to get out of your mindset of keeping everything bachakar. <laughs> you know, you I, you like everything to be protected. 
yeah, yeah. by each other but that's yeah. not how you play chess because th- that means that you are just forming some kind of a defensive formation and okay. the opponent is trying to get into you like get to right. one way if you block one way he'll try another so all the time you'll keep defending your I'm aim different. should also be to go on the offensive okay. to attack okay so okay. bishop c4 actually attacks one of the key points in the opponent's camp which is weak mm-hmm. which is that point it's a it's uh, a very F7. big weakness yes f7 so remember in chess this point and this point are the weakest yeah. points I'm if sure. you see in your game as well when he came with his queen here and then his bishop he did nothing mm. but attack this weakest point in your camp why is that the weakest point Can you think about Be- it? Because only the king is protecting. Absolutely. So yeah. this is the main reason. So that is why when you are playing in the opening, it would be very nice to develop your bishop here. Understood. Okay. I think he saw me not doing it, and he was like, "I will go for the offense now." <laughs> yes, but but the way he played was not the best. He went B G four. You asked hmm. the question to the bishop. Now, what do you want to do? Usne mara. Now. Uh, this is where chess gets a little tricky because mm. the rule is that don't develop your queen too soon yeah correct but yeah. here you can take with the queen the okay. reason being that your queen cannot be attacked so easily by him and secondly you got a very important bishop okay with your queen and you didn't spoil your structure now there is one okay. thing that sometimes double pawns means they weaken your structure a bit okay because yeah. pawns which are in one line they are elastic you know they move easily understand yeah but okay uh, queen takes was better you took with the pawn which is fine okay not bad he went d5 now you uh, remember this what is it of my opponent that i can take what is it that he can take of mine so here he can't take anything of yours as of now like he can take here but you can take this and you very correctly calculated this entire sequence which was very nice so you saw okay. two moves ahead and you were like okay i take i take i take he takes fine it's an equal exchange you lost a pawn and a knight you got a pawn and a knight mm-hmm. now you are like i want to again you have to do the same thing is there anything of my opponent that i can take in this position look carefully kuch mar raha hai kya Is there anything hanging? Uh, hanging? Not. I mean, the my bishop is like um, can just take eight seven and a seven. This Sorry, one. Sorry, eight seven. Yeah. yeah. But That's then one. rook is mm. yeah rook will take it so, so no it's not actually hanging so if you look carefully mm. you will see that nothing is hanging yeah okay nothing hanging okay yeah. so that was a yeah. trick question trick but question. Yeah. you you saw carefully this is what I want you to do carefully look at oh. the position कि कुछ मर रहा है कुछ I should see if anything of mine is hanging हाँ first now what anything of yours is hanging Technically, my bishop is protected by a pawn. Exactly, so it's not hanging. Very good. Oh yeah, my this um, my pawn at f three is also not hanging because my queen's protected. See, you have already moved past that level where people, you know, who are very beginners, they think, oh, he's murdering. Then you have to remind him, oh, this is also there. You know, hmm. so this comes to you naturally that the bishop hmm. is not hanging, pawn is not hanging. So. Hmm. You are actually improving. So now that you see, तुम्हारा कुछ नहीं मर रहा है, तुम भी उसका कुछ नहीं मार सकते हो. Yeah. So then you have to now think of something that you can attack of his. Understand. Okay. Or if you can't attack, then you need to develop something of your own. Okay. Generally, what we had said is that bishops, I mean minor pieces before major pieces. Correct. Yeah. So I I could have uh, taken out my pawn to b three or b. Yes, very good. This would have been very interesting to put the bishop out. Because then yeah. you are, uh, you know, developing. Yeah. Uh, is there a move that you can use to attack one of his pieces? Uh, I mean, I could have. 
Oh yeah. You I you did that mind. actually. You did that. But in that huh. process, you forgot ru- rule number two. Before uh, sorry, rule number three. Before moving a piece, see if anything is hanging in the position. Mm. Generally, mm. what I had asked is before moving the piece, you see whether it will hang or not. So yeah. here you saw that this pawn is not hanging because the bishop protects it. But you yeah. forgot that this bishop loses its protection. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. uh, that yeah. was a little I I understand it was not the simplest, but I should have idly put my bishop at e4. No? Beautiful. If you would have played um, this, it's such a great move. Because you um, attack his queen and value check, his queen is much superior to your bishop. So um, he cannot uh, just give it up. And imagine if he moves his queen here, what do you do? No, I'll check him again. No, no, wait. Can I do that? Rule one. Oh, it's anything hanging. Uh... Yes, Prashant, Sony. Good. That's right. And thank you, Gaurav, for becoming backer of Indian chess. Thank you, Mannajji, for becoming backer of Indian chess. So, Kenny, what's hanging in opponent's camp? I don't see anything hanging. Mm. Come on. Think. Oh, it's uh, B7. Think now. Now, rule number three. Okay. What is rule number three? Before making the move, make the move in your head. Yeah. So I I put I uh, put my bishop at B seven to take his pawn. Uh, Then he'll. Oh, he can't move his rook. Right. No. Uh, yeah, I don't think he can move his rook, right? No, no, then he would move his uh, queen down to c6 or up to... Uh... Queen c6 now, Kenny. You took the pawn, queen c6. Hmm. Hmm. Think. Why is that a bad move? He won't do that because then I would take it out. You'll take the queen, right? Yeah, so Even if know. the queen is different, doesn't matter because queen is worth 9 points, bishop is only 3. Correct. Uh, oh yeah, he would... Mm, oh, he would put it to uh, d5. b5. d5. d5, but then what happens? Oh no. Uh, then my... Oh, then I would take his rook, which he wouldn't do. Yes. Um, uh, would you take his rook or would you take something else? Uh, because if you take, he comes hmm. here. Correct. Why are oh, you afraid? Take, yeah, I would take exactly. his queen. Okay, so right. you take his queen back. Sorry, okay. sorry. That's very obvious. So, yeah. in this oh. move, this becomes a great position for you now. Because okay. you won a pawn, you are also going to win the rook. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. No one can attack me also. No one can attack you. So in this yeah. position, Kenny, uh, yeah. you need to think of such moves where you are actually creating a threat like this. If there's nothing, see, none of his pieces could be taken. None of your pieces were hanging. Then you need to create an attack on something Understood. that is not defended. Okay. Understood. So this, you went C4. He should have taken your bishop, correct? But he went here. Yeah, yeah which is weird. Yeah. yeah, he didn't He didn't play the best move. But this is what will happen in generally most of the games of chess that people keep on making mistakes. So you, are, you should be the last one to make a mistake. Uh, mm-hmm. No, you should be the second last one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your opponent should be the last one. So here, yeah. now that your bishop is hanging and... You've defended it with your queen on c2, correct? Yeah. This is a good good decision. 
can you think of a better place to defend your bishop i should have put it as e2 no yes why then what will, what else will happen my king is also protected exactly so that yeah. is correct this would have been a better move to defend mm. but you went here now he mm. attacked here now your mm. next move was very very interesting because firstly you forgot rule number 2 which is see what is hanging in your position yes queen and rook two. battery attacks this yeah then Man. you forgot yeah. the third rule which is you pushed your pawn so even if this was not hanging this is hanging yeah so now you realize that these three rules although they are very simple actually yeah. if properly applied can give you a great game yeah okay so should, do you want to try again yeah 100% okay let's go okay let's do this new game but uh, no no uh, no stress yeah can you just easy yeah, yeah. okay let's go Kenny has white again against Winstar. Yeah, hey, I can hear you. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll mute myself. I'll do what you told me last time by attacking his pawn. <laughs> okay, he's protected it. Okay. I'm gonna get my knight out. Nothing weird has happened so far. Uh -huh. well, according to All the thing, right. I will do what Sagar had told me. I'll put it to C4. A oh, nice, nice. Attacking is that learning seven. quickly. Learning quickly. Okay. Now at this point. Oh, this is a mistake. Uh, he's attacking my bishop. Now, if I take the pawn, um, his knight will take it and the queen. Will take. Queen won't take because my pawn is protecting it. It's not worth it. So I'm just gonna backtrack to B3. But then my knight is there. Okay. Oh, I could have taken uh, his pawn as my pawn. Should have done that. Yeah, and my. Oh, let's see. Mm, Guys, we have a guest joining mm. in. Any guesses on who that would be? By the way, Kenny should have really taken this pawn here because it was attacked three times. <sighs> Not worth it. Now. He's taken this and actually he's lost. So I take it with my knight. No, no, no. He will take it back. He'll take it with his knight. Um, I don't think I... So I have to move my knight now. Can't move d4. Um. He is a national level. You know what? I'll move it to. Um, I'm being defensive, but I'll move it to g. Sorry, h4. Because if I move it to g5, again he move, move his pawn forward. Hey, what will what will your pawn happen? Hey, what are you saying? Oh my god! Hey, stupid fellow, the hey, worst so person to join. Stupid fellow, <laughs> where are you in an auto? <laughs> Biswa, Biswa has uh, can't be seen. He cannot hear us. Yeah, I, I asked for the link. <laughs> Bisa, where are you going? I'm uh, going away from stupid fellow Kenny Sebastian. Uh, Bisa, any uh, tips on how to improve? You know, uh, Kenny Bisa is playing at uh, national championship. Yeah. Yeah. How is this allowed? Isn't there some decorum? Re required for entry. <laughs> so I moved my rook because uh, the next would would have been a pin between my queen and sorry my king and the thing. Oh my so. god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, didn't see. I didn't. I will see. just drop off. Uh, see you guys later. Bye, bye. Biswa. <laughs> because of you, I lost everything. Bye, Biswa. What? Bye, bye. Oh man, I lost my queen. <laughs> hey, I got distracted. To be Sorry, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. Uh, I think when Biswa came and it was already difficult for you to focus. So. 
Oh man, it's such a dumb move. Okay, can can you try and yeah. fight still? Like just follow yeah. the rules and not give up. Because I... you know, although you are losing here in chess, you should never uh, give up. Yes. Okay, so now he's attacking my f7 again. He's going to take a screen out any second. Um So, how do I protect it? He's going for my F. No, F two. He's going. Sorry. Um. She gets a screen out. Uh, how do I get rid of the ambition? Hmm. I was thinking about no. Sorry, sorry. I was I muted myself. So it's actually putting my pawn. No, but then my pawn is hanging. Very difficult position um, to play. This is hanging. Um, I mean, it's not hanging as such, but the knight will come to g four. Then there will be two attacks here, and then the queen would take the knight. So it's important to get a. Somehow, you know, Kenny's moves were not great. Like, for example, firstly, he moved his knight to h4 here. Instead of that, he could have played it to g5 to attack this pawn here. Uh, then, when his opponent, I'm just worried about his queen coming out. I just I want to stop that rook from happening. Um, rook p1 was not a good move. Okay, we'll discuss about it. And of course, then what I could do is I could. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm putting my pawn here so that. Ah, that's a good um, move. Good move. If he tries to take it, yeah, I'll take my rook out. No, don't so that... take it. It's free. No, if I take my rook out, he'll take it with the queen. Yeah, but this is anyway a decent move because it opens up the bishop, at least. Ooh, knight g four. He wants to attack oh. this. This He's attacking my pawn and now. also this. My God, this is. Very powerful, very powerful. This is getting worse and worse. Yes, um, yes, yes, I agree. But you can try knight e four and hope that he does not see this knight, and then you can pick this up. That fellow's thin. Okay. Ah, rook f one. Interesting. Some protection for that fellow. <laughs> can, can did Kenny realize that his knight was hanging on h four and he lost the knight? He took my knight. Now, now, I I want only one thing from him that he should notice there is a mate in one here and he should play. <laughs> I forgot extra. I don't have a queen also. Mm. That's the only way. To oh, the next move is the checkmate, no? Ah, nice. Because he'll put his queen on uh, very h2. Good. Very good. So now h3 at so least. I'm gonna technically remove my pawn mm. and also attack him. And yeah. I just move. Oh no! <laughs> but that is still hanging, Kenny. You had to play this pawn up here. This one, not this one. Come on! Come on! Come on! Go back. Go back, Simon. No, he'll come. <laughs> Kenny, mm. here's a uh, thing for you. Find white to play and mate in one. Sorry, black to play. Black to do mate, mate me in one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no! Is really it's only that point? Oh, he went back. Oh, he went back. Oh, great! Yeah. Great, great. Okay, let's fight. Let's fight now. Let's fight. Amazing, amazing. He could have taken your uh, pawn on h two and mated you, but okay. 
let's go let's go i'm muting myself oh you're right you're right then go oh, wow okay okay now, think now think 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 how to f- go ahead uh i'm going to put my knight to uh, e4 take out a pawn and then attack his queen it's a good get move. out of here boy it's a good move it attacks this and this as well thank god you know when i saw the h2 thing i thought me attacking with the pawn would solve the problem but it clearly does it <laughs> because yes. i obviously again you saw it put that it was a G2. nice thing can you think man i should have moved my uh, rook no that also wouldn't have no that would have helped it wouldn't have been checkmate i could have moved my rook to uh, yeah e uh, h3 e was perhaps the best i actually i saw he's trying to do anything about it. that's really dumb okay he's obviously going to move back i think now uh, he should no, move his queen here because my pawn is there he can't take oh he can Oh shit! He can take a uh, F two. No, no, no. No, he can't. My knight is protected. I think one of the things that Kenny um, has to learn is how many pieces are attacking, no, attacking and how many are uh, defending. Should I take his bishop? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Guys, in the chat, how many of you I mean, are at there. the same level I as Kenny? I can't put my knight. I might say... as well. I can't put it at uh, f6. I can't put it at. Uh, I can't put it at. Uh, but that fellow will come into my. Then with his queen, he'll do something. You know what? I've already lost too many pieces. No end of this. Okay, good move. Taking here. Uh, my knight's gonna go with the queen. Oh, nice me me. Nice. Many are there who are at his yeah, level. Very good. That. Very good. Um. Oh, nice, nice. So, guys, that that's good now. So we can actually guess what should Kenny do here now. What would you play here as white? Okay, now he's gonna go after. Oh shit! F two is double attack. No, but it's mm. defended. It's defended. F two is defended. So what's the move here, guys? Oh, Amish Kumar, I like your he's move. H three. Very move. good. Very good. Um, Nitish Modi, well done. H three. I like this move. H three here because to my kick the knight. Yes. Um, okay, I'm running out of time. I really have to move that knight out. H three knight moves, then bishop attack. These two moves, okay, if Kenny can play. This. I'm gonna put my bishop, but then his. Ah, he wants to put his bishop perfect. here, but then knight takes. Because he doesn't have any supporting pieces. He can take here. Because if he takes it, I'll take it with my pawn. But then queen takes. So take, take. Oh, he. Arey baapre. Same situation has happened again. He's attacking f two. um but it's defended so i want like to do a me oh i can do one thing oh no we should had a white bishop could have checked him what you know about rolling down in the deep end how about guys here You have to attack. See, the queen is attacking something. Shit, my rook is also going to move. Which is defended. Mm. Everything is defended, so he must now no, attack. Okay. okay, the pawn on d three is undefended. Declared king h one. Hmm. 
he won't take my rook because my other rook is protecting it. You should rightly take my. Hmm, do that. Does he want me to? Okay, strain. Okay, that he will lose on time here. But okay, he fought. He fought hard. Shit. Okay. Okay, Kenny. We hmm. have to uh, learn one more concept here, which is of yeah. attackers and defenders. So every time he attacks something of yours, hmm. does not yeah. mean that it's falling. Like here, okay. you see, there are two attackers, yeah. but there are two defenders. So when it's okay. equal, it means that that point is not really falling. Of course, you have to calculate also. Hmm. But hmm. in this particular case, take rook takes he takes with the queen then king takes mm. so he lost okay. 12 points while you get lost only six five mm -hmm. plus one correct mm. yeah so uh, that is i mean we are not going to analyze this entire game because biswa came and you know he disturbed and it was not so uh, easy for you to focus after that you lost the queen easily distracted <laughs> but <laughs> but tell me something why did you play a move like rook b1? What is your logic? Oh, uh, because in the next move, uh, he would have pinned me. He would have pinned my, uh, the knight would have gone to c. Uh, oh, I could have taken him out with my queen. See, this is, this is uh, the point. Everything he attacks, you have to see whether it's defended or not. You cannot correct. just say, oh, this is falling. Go ahead. So whatever he's attacking, first thing in your mind, First thing, Kenny, just remove the defensive setup from your head. Yeah. Get yeah. more aggressive. Get okay. more aggressive. Like, what can I take? Okay. Apka marega to hai. But you be more aggressive. Okay. So when he comes here, let's say in the game, he's now attacking your queen. This is already a tough situation. Okay, you gave it up, which is not good. But now when he came here <coughs> and you defended... Of course, uh, there was mate in one. But now I liked your move. You took here. Okay. Hmm. You attacked his queen and bishop. Then you took his queen, uh, bishop here. Now, think about it this way. He is attacking twice. You are defending twice. So everything is protected. When right. everything is protected, what should you do? Attack. Attack his piece. So how do you do it? Which you did. Which you did I here. I did with bishop. But yeah. you should put it in your head here. And if the bishop comes here, you haven't moved it. You just moved it in your head. Can yeah. it be taken there? Yeah, by the knight. Uh, all, uh, yeah. The knight takes. Pawn takes, queen takes. Sorry, not like that. This yeah. way. Yeah. So you don't do that. What is another yeah. thing that you can take? Uh, you can attack. I mean, uh, I can attack... Um... One thing is I can put my pawn in h3 or I can move my pawn to d4. Correct. But Which d4 one is, is better? I think uh, uh, h3 is better because Very my good. pawn at d4 will be hanging. Correct. He can take it in two ways. He can take with the yeah. pawn or he can take with the queen. So h3 yeah. attacks the knight and the knight Correct. cannot take here. So that means his knight has to retreat. Once his knight retreats, let's say like this, what I'm do you do now? Now, see if anything is hanging. Yeah, his... Can you his take some... Hanging, no? How? Uh, if I put my bishop at uh, c5. Sorry, uh, g, g5. G5, yes, but... Okay, g5. Look at it this way. If you come here, you will attack this knight. But knight is worth how much? 3. Your bishop hmm. is also worth 3. And this so pawn a... defends the knight already. Yeah, so... So yeah. attack something bigger. Oh, I could have put it at e3. Yes, bishop e3. And you yeah. attack the queen. So what happens is when you repeatedly attack your opponent's pieces, then he may make a mistake in your mm. tournament. Yeah. So mm. you have to go aggressive. So let's do the next game with me... Telling you okay. rule number one, rule number two, rule number three. Okay. And you okay. have to consciously make an attempt to rule. What's rule number one? 
uh, is any opponent's piece hanging? Rule number two. Uh, is any of my pieces hanging? Rule number three. Uh, the position I'm going to make is that position uh, a danger zone. Yeah, something is something can, can hanging when I move it there. Correct. Okay. There. So these three rules in your mind. And we'll go and I'll I'll remind you rule number one. And you have to do it quickly. Like you cannot be, okay, rule number one, rule yeah. number two. So time khata ho jayega. Then every move will take one minute. You can only make 10 moves. In fact, the game will last 30, 40 moves. So, so the speed at which you have to do rule number one, rule number two, rule number three is like 10 seconds mein ye sab 10, 20 seconds mein per move. It's the second shot actually. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, Kenny didn't want to use this second shot all a reason for a long time, but he was like, no, <laughs> I have no. to use it. <laughs> Two games, uh, second game lost screen. <laughs> I have to use it. <laughs> okay, let's go one more. No. Oh, I'm black. Oh, nice. He's come out with his queen. Attacking f7. Um... Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. You did not do rule yeah. number one, rule number two, rule number three. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. So, na- yeah. <laughs> it's thoda, thoda late. Ho gaya. <laughs> 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 now, okay, do, do that. Abhi, kya? Rule number one, rule number two, rule number three. Quickly. I mean, I've checked, so now I have to put something in the way. Um, right? <laughs> yes. So now rule number two. What is... What is the... I, I, my rule number two is, uh, if is, uh, any of my pieces hanging, obviously mm-hmm. my... Oh my God damn it. Ha, ha. Very good. I like this. The awareness should be there. to mm-hmm. but So now you, mm-hmm. you can't do much about this. Unfortunately, there's a check. So let's go ahead. Uh, yeah so I have to put my bishop on e7 to block the check Um, okay cool cool now now let's he will take your rook think now just take it when he takes when he takes Kenny what do you do now rule number one two three think think first rule number one can you take anything of his right now very quickly. No. Can he take anything of yours? Yes, my uh, my knight. And? And my uh, pawn at uh, 8 7. Yes, sometimes you can't defend everything, so you have to make a choice. What do you want to save, knight or pawn? About my knight. So, so I'm how going to do put you? my king at F, uh, F8. Beautiful. Go on. Very good. Ah. Oh. Now, now think. Thing. He's doing the same f7 nonsense. Ha, but he, uh, how many times is he attacking it? Two, once. And how many times is it defended? Once. Ha, so it's right now safe zone. So try to think what is hanging. What Now rule number two. What else is hanging? Uh, my h7. Ha, so now uh, what will you do? Oh, I can move it up. I can put it to uh, h6. Okay, I don't think you're happy with that. <laughs> uh, Decent. Go on. Go on. H6. Yeah. yeah. You saved it because if he takes the pawn with his queen, what will you do? You would have taken it with the uh, knight. I'll take it with my knight. Okay. Correct. Now, now, now look, rule number two. See, in this game, you're on the defensive. You are unable hmm. to attack anything. He's attacking your... So now you see if there is a chance for any counter attack or you have to keep defending what is hanging rule number two what is going uh right now um uh only if uh, f7 is no how many times is it attacked twice how many times is it defended one so i can put my queen at uh, e8 good oh damn really cool this why that that's what my weakness is i'm not counting the defense yes yes you have to be quick and think now in this oh what did he do he moved his king why did he move his king i don't know 
So you have now time. Come on. Okay. What do you do? Mm. Uh, I want to trap his queen. Um. Very good. Very positive thought. I can't move my king to g7. No, you can't. I can't do that. Uh, oh, I can move my knight to g6. Knight to g6. F6. Sorry, F6. Okay, okay. Think now. When you will put your knight to f6, his queen would be attacked. Now the opponent is rule number three. Yeah. Then. Um... Rule number three is is it in a danger zone? Uh, not really, because the only way the danger we move for moves is pawn forward. You you know this one thing that when you move a piece, it's not only about that piece being attacked. Got it. But what uh, it was yeah, defending? Eight, eight, eight six. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So right now you need to think something else because your kind of that formation. Mm -hmm. Can you, Kenny? Can you think of a way to trap that queen there? Okay, so now you know that one piece knight yeah. comes out and will attack the queen. Correct? Yeah. So yeah. can you somehow figure out how to defend that pawn and trap his queen? Uh, I could put my bishop at uh, g5. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But okay, you you go on and uh, this is somehow a little advanced. I'll show you after the game. But try to play your move. What would you do here? Yeah, I would do that. Very interesting. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, do this. Oh, these are Take it. Oh. Oh. It's a queen exchange. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You don't have time. What, what are you thinking? Hmm. Quick intensity. You need intensity, Kenny. He's fighting back. He's fighting back. Yeah. Rule number one, two, three in your head. Anything? Uh, um, the pawn is not hanging. The main thing hanging. Uh, king is out. Everything is safe so far. I think I should attack this king. If yeah. if you cannot attack something on in his position, the development is important. Develop. Okay. Get your pieces out. Yes, very good, excellent. But actually, uh, huh. Mm -hmm. Going to attack my king, which is protected technically. Good. Rule number one Can you attack something? Is something hanging in the opponent's position? Sorry, rule number one Is something hanging in his position? Okay. Uh... Pawn is not hanging, his bishop is not hanging. Yeah. So nothing is hanging. Rule number two is something in your position hanging. Technically, no, my knight is not hanging because my king is protecting it. Yes. So no. So answer is no. no. So no. third uh, now try to think. Can you create something? Because see, nothing is hanging in your position. Nothing of his you can take right now. So can you create some threat? Yeah, I can check his king with yes. my knight. Okay, interesting. Now, now, Kenny, look. My my knight is technically hanging. See again, uh, you went to rule number two. First rule number one: attack. Can you take something of his op of your opponent? Oh, yes. I can take his pawn uh, at uh, c uh, c two and then pin his uh, rook. Brilliant. Oh, I would have never seen. This. Come on, come on, come on! Focus, focus! Now check is on the king. Oh and shit! It's a double. Oh yeah. yeah. It's called a fork. It's called a knight fork. Now, no, come on. Rook, baby. Yeah, good, good. Okay. Now think. Rule number now, one. Uh, my uh, knight is not hanging. King is protecting it. My, uh, oh, oh, my knight is hanging now because the rook, we can't come and take it. Mm -hmm. um, so, where do I put this boy? 
sometimes some piece gets anyway stranded you know you cannot save it because the night Correct. anyway cannot so then you need to think ahead like jo gaya wo gaya apun apna kuch naya you know mm. Mm. I want to get my dish about uh I'm thinking one of the pawns I can move. Um, I can move my pawn to d6 and just advance further, so that I can get my bishop out. Or b6, b6. Go go yeah, go go go. Okay. Just just be intense. Like, just look at your time. Look at everything. What do you do next? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go a little aggressive. I'm gonna put my bishop at g4. Not bad. Okay, go on. Because it's protected by my knight as well. Okay, I'm just doing this. I can. Is it hanging? No, it's protected by the other pawn. Uh, my something is not hanging. I can go a little back. But then next move will come forward. Oh my god! Oh shit! Stuck now. Hmm. Should not do that. Yeah, guys. Shit. Uh, I hear you that we should play a unrated game. That makes sense. We'll do that next game. God this, damn it! This is called a pin. Pin. Can mm, he's pin my? He's knight. pinned your knight and he's attacking it. So. Uh, okay by the way great improvement great improvement hmm. uh, and well played i i guess you are getting the hang of it yeah like rule number 1 rule number 2 if nothing of that is working then can you develop a piece can you attack something of his right so yeah. can we play one more game last one for the day and sure. uh, can you make it an unrated game because when i'm uh, helping you yeah. or you know like saying this okay. it's somehow yeah. although i'm not telling you the moves it's not right yeah. to uh, do this so how do i do that i go to new 10 minutes yes and make it unrated over there oh i can choose that is it uh new game custom game So you gotta help me. How do I do unrated? Eight minute. Huh? I don't play. New ten minute game. उधर नहीं है. I mean, there is new ten minute. If I expand on it, it's, um. Ah, huh, inside new ten minute, is there some custom challenge or something? Custom game is there. Ah, huh, custom game. Uh, standard. Yeah. This is random. Yeah. Uh. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, okay, sorry. Unrated. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Sorry for that. Oh, yeah. Playing white. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, nice. You have a strong. Okay, Kenny, 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 focus, focus. Let's go. Rule number, whatever. You have to just e four hip. Nah. Yeah. You know I'm the opening gonna... rules, so 
you save time on that you need to make it quickly so that you don't yeah. waste time there why is so oh my god he has a 1000 rating now let's see six okay very good Yeah. Yeah, I think you can put my bishop at uh, f4. Attack is f7. c4, yeah. Very good. Mhm. Okay. Nothing is in danger as of now. Come on quickly rule number 1 rule number 2 anything uh, you can take anything tumhara mar raha hai kuch tum maar sakte ho uh rule 1 if i take um, the pawn his knight comes back if i take his f7 his king will kill me uh but then he can't castle which is a good thing no but i'm taking a pawn so not worth it Yeah, yeah. Three uh, points you lose. And so when you can't, when nothing of his can be taken, nothing of yours is hanging. You have two choices. One is to attack, create an attack on him or, or to complete develop. your development. So what do you so want I'll, to do? I'll castle. Very good. Let's go. Now because also F seven is protected by two. F two, right? Sorry, F two. Yes, very good. That's what another advantage of castling is that. Okay, he castled. Care. Okay. Now, now I can do little hera fairy. Uh, since everything is protected, mm. and my right side is my protective area. Um, I was thinking of putting my pawn to d four. Um, Check how many times is it defended there? How many times it is attacked? Mm, it's attacking only once, defended once, but two people are attacking, so it's not worth. Three times, three people are. Oh, attacking. three. Sorry, Knight, sorry, bishop, sorry. pawn. Okay, so you have to complete your. So can you take something of his rule number one? No. Can you? Is something of yours hanging right now? No, right now, no. So you need. Do you want to attack something on his position? Or you want to finish development? I want to get my other bishop. Ha. So play, play. So How do you? I'll push. I'll push my pawn up to d3. Very good, excellent. So that way I'm also protecting. Um... Now think oh, what yeah. will he do? Can he? What will... will he do in your time? You must think what will he do, and then uh, get your move ready. He might do the similar thing, or Haan. he might. Uh... Haan. 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 He did the similar. Okay. Now what do you do? What do you do? Hmm. Oh, now I can get my bishop out. Uh, I can get my bishop out and attack his. Uh, oh, I can attack his knight at uh, f6. So I can put my knight g5. Mm. Because then I'll pin his. Uh... Come on, come on. You have you have to take a decision. Sorry. Very good. Very good. This um, because good because if he moves, is um, you always should I'm... keep your rule number three in mind when you are going to put your piece far away. Is that I'm going sure. to hang there? Right now, no, so not. Right it was now, safe. No. So good. Okay. Okay. Rule I could one. just. Uh, I could. I can't attack him because his pawn will take me. My uh, bishop is being attacked, so I could uh, move back to h4. Uh, but I could take his knight as well. Um, because it's equal points. Yeah. And so generally, his... bishop is three, knight is three. But when you are pinning a knight, your bishop yeah. is sometimes more powerful than the knight because the pin okay. is in your favor. So makes sense to keep it. Sure. So I'll put it to uh, very good, very good, very good. This is like one of those moves I've memorized. Ki if that pawn comes over, just go a little back and maintain ah, the same attack. Yes, chess is a lot about pattern recognition. Can you will realize yeah. it's not just about creativity all the time. Ha! Huh, he has now pinned you. Yeah, same thing is doing what I'm doing. <laughs> mm. uh, so now, ideally, I should get my queen out of the way. 
Mm. Okay, rule number my... one. Oh, sorry. Can I attack anything? Um... First thing is to go on the offensive, not defensive. Understand. So he is come and pinned you, but you had pinned him first. Hmm. So I could technically take his uh, knight out. Yes, but can you? You know what? What do you do with the pinned piece? No. Oh, you attacking it again? Yes. Uh, is there something you can do like that? Uh, how do I do? How do I attack it again? Uh, if I put my knight there, it doesn't happen. Uh, my no. Uh, my queen. My queen. No, but I'm my queen is stuck. Um, uh, my bishop. No. Sorry, how to do this? Uh, shit, yeah. Ah! I do attack the piece again. No. Shit. How do you put pressure on the knight on f six? Oh, oh, understood. Uh, I put my other knight at uh, d five. Go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. It's not over now. Think, what will he do? He will um, most probably take out my um, my pawn at e four to get out of it. No, how can he take your pawn on e four? Why is that a bad move? If the knight moves, what oh, will my... happen? Ah, oh, my queen is his queen is open. Correct, correct. So, uh... Kenny, when it's his move, think what is his best try here because you are putting pressure on him. Yeah. Um, he's gonna move his queen, I think, to remove the pen. Maybe, mm. maybe. Or he might attack. Um, okay, he did that to remove the queen. Okay, um, think now. One, Kenny. Rule oh, number oh, one. Oh, I can no, solve no, it. No, no, no. One second. Think oh, and say. Think. Go rule on. Go on. Is, you need to think. Is anything hanging? Yeah. As of now, uh, nothing is hanging. Uh, technically, yeah, my knight is protected. uh so i'm good <laughs> second can i you see huh? you see kenny has changed rule number 2 to 1 because he wants to always say can you take something of his is rule number 1 you I have can. to I can, yes i can take his knight at f6 yes and also check him and also uh, uh, what do you say poke his queen now think which order you because you have two pieces who can take on correct. f6 correct my bishop can take it but if i do a bishop thing mm. doesn't make sense because um i can't check the queen a uh, king no yes but if you take with the knight what will he do mm. oh he'll take it out with the pawn correct so now think ulta what will if you take with the bishop what happens he take it out with the pawn then yeah. i take it out with the uh, knight and with then the... he'll take it i'll take it out with my knight and then what is it oh then he can't do anything no it's a check Oh, it's check. And okay. his queen is oh. hanging. It's a fork. So here the move oh. order is important. What do you take first with? So we oh, take so with the cool. bishop. Yeah. Bishop. Oh, so cool, cool, so cool. That is really cool. Mm. You're crushing a thousand rated player. Can he come on? I don't know. This is some scam. How can he be though? No, no. It's uh, possible. You know, chess is a uh, a lot about just having you know. a really good player guide you. <laughs> No, come on. I I think what is very important is a change in mindset, where you need to look at attacking moves first. So he's thinking, oh, I'll take it with the pawn. Then is is my my knight will come. So he's he's so, a good player. He won't take it, right? He will do something else. So he'll you move need to think. King. He'll move his king most probably. He can move his king, okay. Or move his queen. <coughs> yeah because it's because if he moves oh he moved the rook why did he do that um uh, come on you don't have time rule number 1 are 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 uh can rule you... number 1 can i take something sorry yes. uh i can take uh no i can't take his pawn cuz correct by the king uh can i take his uh pawn not worth it uh my bishop no mm. 
Uh, okay, so rule number that. one, you can't take anything. Rule number can't two, take anything. is anything, is anything of yours hanging? hanging? No, as of now, I don't. There is night. Isn't look, your bishop look. hanging? Oh, no. oh, technically his pawn can take me. But but, but then, but my knight's protecting. Exactly. Him. So this is a tactic yeah. there. So let it be okay. remain that way. Now, Understood. if one, no, rule number one is not working, rule number two is fine. Everything is safe. What do you do? Develop a piece or uh, attack something. Um, attack something. So can you do that? Now all your pieces are kind of developed. Yeah. So can you attack can... something? Um. Oh, I can attack by uh, moving my pawn to d4. And but pawn uh... to d4, how many times is it defended? How many times is it attacked? It's defended twice. So thrice. Sorry, you're right. Um. My other knight is there. Uh, I can. Oh, I can take his um e. Five, but then his pawn will take no it's protected twice. Uh, wow, so much thinking. <laughs> uh, what can I attack? My queen, my. I could move my pawn uh, to b four, and attack yes. his. But is it defended? No, it's hanging. Oh, it is. My knight is defending it. No, but then it's defending my, my bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now you so want to play B4. Okay. Mm. So you want to protect that pawn. It's it's not protected enough. So you need to make a move which controls the center. Also prepares B4. How can you do that? Both. Move my rook to B1. No. Try to control the center further. Rook on B1 is like. Oh, my queen to D2. Possible, but then he'll That's take it. on F3 and double your pawns, perhaps. Or get. C three. Yes, it <laughs> controls the center. C three controls the center, and it also stops his knight from jumping to D four. Uska knight and a C six pair. Because yeah, then there yeah, is a yeah. pin on your knight. Oh, he can um, attack. So this is a very strong move that you play. Wow! Played. Thank you. I would have not seen this. No. Anyway, this game is a lot about us discussing and coming to the right thinking pattern. You know, like more than moves or Oof. winning or losing. Man, I have a lot to learn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Rule number one. Can I attack anything? Um, he has pinned my... Okay, now he's trying to attack my thing. Uh, can I attack anything? Can I... No. But uh, look at my bishop and my thing is fine. Uh, my bishop is not attacking anything. But he is attacking my bishop. Um, so what I can... Can I attack his other bishop? No, I don't want to touch the king. Uh, I think I could. I could go back to my original uh, plan of putting it to b4. Yes, possible. But you need to see rule number two. You did rule number one, then you didn't do rule number two. Is anything uh, and under attack is? Oh yeah, correct. My bishop is under attack. Is it under attack? Not really. It's defended once. Its pawn is defending. So, what do you do? Let's do can... that. D four. Hmm. Yeah. Wow! What a game. Okay. And then I could take it out with my pawn. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. Time so, got over. So, Kenny. Wow. Crazy. You understand now what you have to do. Basically, yeah, yeah. you know what you have to do, but you have to do it in the time limit. This yeah. is why it's tough. So you need to do rule number one. What can I take? And always rule number one first. Never rule okay. number two first, because okay. rule Especially number for two me. will yeah. never allow you to win. It will always make you like defend, 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 defend. But rule mm. number one will allow you to win. Take something up. Then when it doesn't work, go to rule number two. कि कुछ defend कर सकते क्या? अपना मतलब कुछ मर रहा है क्या? Let's defend it. And if one and two is not working, either you develop your piece or you create a threat on his piece, like you attack something. So when this happened, no here, c3 was a nice move by the way. This is like in a way some kind of a central control. But I was also thinking you might do h3, attacking this bishop. I I didn't do that because I thought my right side is the king side, so I don't want to 
Uh, it's sometimes it's okay to play this pawn up. It's okay. not. Uh, it's not such a bad thing. So I think uh, these are some very good uh, things. If you have to, like you know, uh, can can I do this? Uh, just if you have to summarize uh, what you have learned today, um, can you just say it so that it sticks in your head? Uh, first and foremost, stop playing defensive. because i'm just still getting stuck in a loop yeah uh, so second is obviously apply all the three rules as fast as i can um which is reiterating the first rule that my first rule should be attack uh second rule should be is am i losing any piece and third is obviously um once i do it is it causing any other problems uh fast as i can mm and uh, and and third i think uh, there were a lot of um, times when i was not calculating the amount of pieces attacked and defending yes. this ratio of that so i should focus on like if two if two pieces are uh, protecting a piece i can relax about it i don't have to freak out hmm and fourth is play better <laughs> <laughs> play better play faster play faster you yeah. can't lose on time okay this is yeah. very important so what will happen kenny is that whoever you face or you know i mean in general i'm helping you to prepare for your tournament as well yeah like if yeah. you want to improve just at chess then of course the method that we apply is much more you know relaxed take 30 minutes on the clock and i'll tell you to do this it'll be like slower but because there is a event also like where there is a 10 minute time control so we are doing this both like improving at the same time so that you can get ready for that game yeah so if you can play games like in your free time whenever you get just one or two how many games you get time uh, and apply these three rules as fast as you can because you know what happens kenny is that once you start going in your thoughts then you may lose like a lot of time just yeah. like that and before yeah. you know it you are down to 2 minutes yeah so actually having this um uh, a disciplined thought process is very important the thing is also the um, i don't have like a, a a strategy in mind like the problem is when i'm attacking it's not like i'm like okay i'll take the bishop out then i'll take my queen out and then my knight out I just feel like I'm attacking with no plan. That's why I get very nervous. He like, okay, you're gonna make an aggressive move, but then what? Like, mm -hmm. do you have a plan? Like, are you going in this direction because you want to go to the king side? Like, so I think that also I need okay, to work on. Okay, tell me something. Tell me yeah. something. Like in general, like when you go to a stand-up show of yours, okay, <laughs> you go with a basic outline, right? and yeah. then some things you let flow because you know the environment is going to guide you like someone will say something from the crowd something will yeah. happen so you trust your abilities that's why you are relaxed yeah in chess what happens often is that you don't trust yourself so you Absolutely want everything not. want everything planned out asa so i think a lot will change if you start just thinking a little more confidently about yourself i know that yeah. it is like you will ask logical questions like why should i think confidently i don't know uh, things and all of that but actually it's the reverse if you start thinking confidently you will start making moves which are better understand yeah so you don't wait for making moves better and then feeling confident because that understand. will take a long time but right now you can feel like okay i i'm going to apply rule number 1 if something is hanging i will take it i'll then apply rule number 2 if rule number 1 is not working and then i'll also check rule number 3 and if nothing is working i'll either develop or i'll attack something in my opponent's camp you have a plan the only thing is you trust this plan and you go there and really like this guy was 1000 rated okay and i'm not saying that uh, it's easy or something but on a given day anyone can beat anyone now in okay. after all a sport yeah fair enough okay. i will work on my confidence <laughs> can you sorry if this was too intense uh the session no, no, no. Yeah. i mean i mean to be honest like from my experience um 
when i do something new uh, i want to make maximum mistakes mm. uh because i mean the the learning is i am not expecting to like get, figure this out very fast so yeah, yeah. i have that understanding so i don't get demotivated at all i'm just like okay uh i would rather make uh, like i wanted to play how i usually play when i'm alone um which which is like i make some stupid decisions and i and you caught, rightly caught the pattern i think one thing i keep miscalculating is the attack versus defense ratio yes. which i'm going to also be aware that i'm actually reading it wrong like things are fine and i can relax yes. instead of being like okay i need to retreat exactly sometimes yeah. it's already defended and you're like oh i should defend it more sometimes that yeah. square is anyway no, uh, it's not possible to make a move and you make it Mm-hmm. and the most important thing is that you often first see what is hanging rather than seeing what can i take so okay. this oh, and i think you've very rightly uh, pointed out all this is a correct uh, gist of what you can improve awesome thank you sir <laughs> thanks kenny and uh, if if uh, time permits before the event we can uh, have oh 100% i'm planning and... to do as many sessions as i can yeah, yeah i mean it uh, we, we will be in touch on that done thanks kenny and thank you sir thank you for taking time yeah <laughs> take rest bye thank you bye guys that was kenny and i believe there was a lot of things he did very well right now uh, again uh, I always keep saying this it takes a lot of courage to do something which you are doing it from scratch I cannot picture myself uh learning something new like this publicly and then not knowing what to do so a big big kudos to Kenny for doing this and actually he learned very very quickly I think uh it was very good and uh, yeah a lot of people in the chat uh saying great things about kenny kenny is the sweetest <laughs> thanks shoeb and um okay so guys make sure if you aren't subscribed here please do subscribe you can also like the stream and also there was a super chat which i missed that was mojo jojo thanks sagar and kenny this was nice thank you mojo jojo for your super chat travel with nikhil roshan says तू जीतेगा यह मेरा दावा है अगर हम साथ है ये तेरा वादा है यू तो आते जाते रहेंगी चुनौतियां तेरी मेहनत का असर थोड़ा ज्यादा है डेडिकेटेड टू विद इट ओ नाइस थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके आई एल येस एंड गाइस टुडे आई पुट अ पोस्ट ऑन चेस बेस इंडिया इंस्टाग्राम एज वेल uh india actually surpassed the medal tally of the previous olympics we had won six medals this time we won seven also there is one gold medal in there which is truly special in we have only won two individual gold medals in the history of indian sports in the olympics one was by abhinav bindra whose book um shoot for the gold or you know this book basically his autobiography is tremendous please do read it if you would like to get inspired venkatesh s wish everyone gets a teacher like sagar bhai thank you venkatesh for your kind super chat uh and so now neeraj chopra has also won a gold medal he's just 23 years old and it's the first ever gold medal in athletics for india is so amazing you know today when i was just watching some of the highlights later i saw that there's this guy coming in and throwing the javelin um and usually you are used to someone from other country doing well in these things like long jump uh runs and you know uh, relays and all these basically swimming whichever sports it is um you feel like someone else and here this guy he throws at like something like 87.6 meters or something which is amazing and uh, no one is able to catch him there it's such a proud moment it shows that india you know can be a sporting superpower 
in the years to come because when i think of that one throw you know that one javelin throw it's a lot about fine tuning the way you run the way you put your foot the the footwork the power in your arm the technique all of this is fine tuned year after year and then finally in that few seconds you try to put the best possible foot forward and i mean it's just amazing what has been achieved very inspiring in fact we also got to see uh, aditi was that name golfer who finished fourth and i mean so many new sports doing well as always i i do wish that chess someday gets into the olympics and then we'll have vishi and uh hari and vidit and um hampi harika nihal pragnananda all these youngsters adiban they'll do that i think it'll be aditi ashok yes she she did uh, really well in golf and also bajrang yeah she he won the bronze today so it's it's really nice that india is doing well but sometimes you look at usa china and their medal tally and you see that there is still a long way to go uh, but we will we'll reach there we'll reach there slowly and steadily and i think we all need to support our uh, players just like how we keep doing and uh, yeah they'll perform well so thank you all uh crime master gogo says chess is a game not a sport i disagree strongly with it and i can refer you to many articles which shows that chess is a sport salim sayed sagar bhai please play a random chess game salim i would do that later but today i'll call it a night because tomorrow is a very special day guys tomorrow is also birthday of amruta and i would just get uh, you know um try to spend more time so until then guys take care and see you soon bye bye i'll try to post a video tonight of uh, kasparov but i'll see i'll see if it is uh, ready then i'll post it tushar arora this time we had strong medal contenders and close misses next time we will be medal winners yeah i agree with you also felt that sindhu could have also won a gold i think she is she believes in that in herself because she's already won a silver now a bronze so um yeah yes yashasvi says sagar bhai ek bar neeraj op ho jaye yeah i think so guys let's have neeraj op in the chat and on that note i will end the stream and take care guys see you tomorrow bye bye